wearing the stars and bars and weighing in officially at 334 pounds. Champion, Fifty-four and one quarter pounds. His professional record stands at six in the history book of boxing of the career of one of the greatest heavyweight champions, Larry and can do this to him. And then can put in a second, third, and fourth jab, which is something he hasn't had in the other fights. Right hand by Holmes, and Butterbean comes back with the right. Terribly busy, but Holmes has done virtually all of the landing and punching. Now see, when he gets on the inside, Butterbean can land a few things. He lands an overhand right to the head of Holmes. Did that hurt him? Usually a guy can hang in there a long time if he's a banger. But Holmes did it with his jab. I think Holmes legs of Butterbean. Just missing there was Butterbean. There's the jab again by Holmes. Which Holmes started out looking like, oh, there's the right. What did it do to Butterbean? He's still coming. Being able to make his entrance as he takes a shot and then lands behind the head to the neck area and then drop nothing else. It only, sh what it showed more than anything was the lack of balance that you can have when you're 52. We had in the room throwing much, and actually the crowd getting on him a little bit right now. Right now the crowd might think of the title of this fight. About a minute left to go, overhand right misses by Butterbean. Got a little respect with the power that he used in the first round. That wasn't at 52. And when you're 52, you're going to take some time off in the fight. Hold up, tie up. Now Butterbean standing there, maybe trying to get Holmes to come in so he can land that right hand. Holmes is jabbing away. He's motioning for Holmes to come in. But it'd be hard to win unless you knock him out. With right hand, overhand, right. And right hand in there. And a backhand by Bud. So many tricks. Whether it's with the jab or tying up or Butterbean is there and they're both waiting on their shots. And I'm not sure you could give the, either of those first hand there did home, but it was it was short. That one got there. Right hand lead. Butterbean shakes the southpaw, yeah. and it surprised Butterbean. The difference between this Larry Holmes and the one of even five or six years, and took him 12 tough rounds, and very nearly won that fight. Did beat Ray Mercer at the age of 42, who was the WBO title holder. The telling shot. Look at that. Right hand lead. Butterbean says, that's right, man. Good. Now, Larry Holmes is mixing up his jabs. Well, look, now, for both guys, the curiosity should be wearing off. Concession to Butterbean, a big experience. Concession from Butterbean to Holmes. Well, now, you know what? Butterbean is... Again, Holmes using the jab. Butterbean has been so sparing in the punches he has thrown and has not been willing one shot and effectively turned the fight and ended. But he needs more than... There's a left hook by Larry Holmes. Hey, there's a punch. We go Holmes controlling this round. Jabs and right hands. Butter against the 52-year-old. Yet, yeah, the ironic part is his best zone would... It's kind of like watching a, a Nero Wolf uh, show on Fox. There's mean has been programmed by Murray Sutherland that whenever Larry Holmes throws a right hand, you have to throw him. Have to gamble more. Butter Bean clubbing left hooks. Larry Holmes. Here comes Butterbean, he's wailing away now. There's that windmilling. Holmes holds on. Oh, you... the, the redness is a target. And now they bang heads, and I'm going to tell you what, that's a danger for Holmes, because the way Butterbean's coming in, the way he has to come in, those heads are clashing. And I... Well, they were both leaning forwards. We saw some heads come together. Here's Butterbean coming in. There are the heads right there. Yeah, by Butterbean, wow. Nice 
different. That might another thing. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps more salty than his left hook lands by Butterbean. Butterbean is emboldened, and now he's got Holmes in the corner. Uh, Larry Holmes, a swelling. Big right hand by Holmes. Butterbean's sweet shot. Butterbean. The crowd's encouraging him. Dean comes forward. Jab against an unprotected eye and the right hand, no match at all. He kept on. Is now way past the territory he's ever been in. He's never gone past four. Larry Holmes with an Alana twist. It's usually the younger fighter who makes the older fighter use his leg. Right hand gets in by Holmes after a jab by Butterbean. Now, but this crowd, I think, came in here with the idea of a, a certain attachment to Larry Holmes. The, he has parlayed his four rounds success in different ring skills. For Butterbean, he has to close ground cheaply and then try to get off. You know, lost in this, and look at Butterbean, he just kind of brings away to Pepper with the jab and the straight right hand. It's not bad for a 52-year-old fighter that could have that this nice right hand by home. Firing punches, however it works out, fire at the guy. It's kind of right hand. Better to lose by a knockout in which you took a stand. The worst scenario is a drubbing from a 52. Almost halfway through this round. There's Butterbean rushing in and Holmes walks back. You know, if you can't catch a 52-year-old guy who takes five steps back, I gotta tell you, you're not doing a very good job. In an 18 by 18 foot ring. Which He's landed about five or six really good right hands, but they have... Butterbean has to reload and then fire in there. Is it tough? Butterbean through three. He chased Larry Holmes when he fell backwards. I hate to break it. There's nothing in the tank to chase. Yeah, I mean, Larry Holmes fell backwards. And here, Murray Sutherland said to Larry Holmes, or to uh, Butterbean, you have to knock this man out. The only way you're going to do it is by going after him. Now Butterbean complaining about an 18 by 18. The 25 by 25, if he wants. Apparently, he has to knock what Butterbean hoped for. He hoped to be able to get closer and do more damage. Two, he can't exactly run around the ring, and he hasn't done so. Now, what is Butterbean's complaining to the thing for this fight for Butterbean was, could he catch Larry Hunt? And he hasn't been able to, and could he hit him with something? Butterbean's focus really needs to be right now, getting on the inside, and he's trying, I guess, but... Good the example end. right there of the dilemma. The ninth round, he's never been that far. He just took <laughs> Strong. Now Larry Holmes is really nailing him with the jab. For one of the perfect foils for that, Butterbean would be it. Half a minute left to go here in round number nine. The guest has so many different ways to fight. Trying to back Larry Holmes up. The left hook comes up a bit short. And the right hook. 20 had losing records and 13 were 500 records. So it just tells you that you think that he can force Holmes to make a mistake and he can nail him. I guess that's the reason for this. Well, it was a novelty aspect his career. Nearly got in six figures. This was the place they had to try to take his career because Larry Holmes, because as an older fighter, he is continually, may I add, one's better than Butterbean, look bad. He's doing it again tonight, but here comes Butterbean. Good jab and Holmes moves away from the right hand. Butterbean lands a couple of right hands. He's flailing away. Holmes with his hand on the ropes, just trying to parry whatever Butterbean throws and not get hit with the Butterbean head. And here comes the right hand from Holmes. It's coming, folks. Butterbean having his best moments, even if not a lot of way. Oh, that's the oh my. Well, it didn't hurt Butterbean. And we now know that the best striking in a way. Because he had everything on it, and Butterbean continued to walk through in this fight, and you figure if he throws him around 10, they're going to hurt the mounted something of a charge earlier in the round. If this is the last fight Larry Holmes has, he's like he will go out a winner. Oh, left hook. Sends Holmes down. That's called a knockdown. Ends with a little bit more curiosity. So, an interesting moment. Larry Holmes. It's hit there. You know what? No. Nope. Uh-uh, not, not a knockdown. knockdown. I stand corrected. I thought the punch had landed, and it was a knock. Larry Holmes just plain slipped, tripped backwards, and fell, and he was right. It wasn't.
Eastern Assassin, Larry!